Long before the global village was even conceptualized, India became a meeting place of cultures, and this continues to this day. Its fashion industry is a spectacular example of the ability to remain true to tradition while also being quick to grasp fresh ideas. And this was a hallmark of a fashion extravaganza held in Mshlanga. The event featured work by major Indian designers, and now you're invited to join us at the ramp. Mshlanga is fast becoming the fashion hub of Itaquiri, and any doubt about this was removed when a small army of models assembled backstage in preparation for the event at a leading local venue. While the finishing touches were applied, stylistas began to arrive, and Tevin was gearing up to meet the designers. Durban is 7,000 kilometers from Mumbai, but in spirit, they could be next door neighbors. I mean, think about it. Durbanites have an immense passion for Eastern lifestyle and culture. So you can imagine just how much excitement was generated when they found out that Durban would be hosting an international fashion experience. Now we have a front row seat, but first let's take a brief look behind the scenes. International and local labels were on display and a Durban-based celebrity designer had joined forces with the organizers to make the fashion extravaganza a reality. You merely have to look at a Harun Hansra creation to know that he's in love with Indian style. Whether it be ethnic, contemporary or fusion, he always keeps in touch with the styles in Mumbai, New Delhi and Calcutta. And he's been a big part in conceptualizing this event. Harun, would you say that the local interest in Eastern style and fashion is growing? And does the market back this up? Absolutely. And I think media has played quite an important part in this, as well as the entertainment industry. If you look at Bollywood stars who have now collaborating with Western stars, and I think if you look at that aspect, it actually creates an interest from the Western world into Bollywood and thereby fashion, who plays quite an important part in any project, is quite well exposed. So the South African media has been amazing and I think they cover all Bollywood activities and this opens up the market across the demographics. The show was curated by renowned Bollywood stylist Isha Amin. I instantly thought that this was a brilliant idea. A, I've never done anything in South Africa and uh, I totally love bringing together, uh, you know, interesting labels and doing something fun with them. We have with us the best of Indian designers who are going to showcase for the very first time in Durban. So I'm really excited that we could pull off something this interesting for Hot Events. There's no app to organize this type of international event. It involves a lot more than merely exchanging a few emails. And Nafisa Jusab has been involved throughout the entire process. Nafisa, what are your thoughts on the hot fashion extravaganza and how did this begin? I wanted to do the idea of bringing down designers to South Africa and making them accessible to South African women. We hand-picked and hand-selected designers from all over India, actually. So we basically asked Isha to curate the show and we wanted to make it affordable to all South African women. What are your thoughts on the collaboration between between South Africa and India. India and South Africa have a close relationship because we have a lot of Indians in South Africa, plus our South Africans travel to India all the time. So I think the whole idea of bringing India to South Africa and maybe even taking South Africa to India would be a good idea. Designer Adarsh Makaria combines vintage and contemporary elements. Can you tell us a little bit about your design style? Textile is one of the core style where you can see a lot of placement with the textile and a lot of application of applics and embroidery, a mixing of two worlds into one outfit. So that is a style and you can see all Indian bright colors, which is quite popular all over the world. Nandi Dadirani focuses mainly on bridal and evening wear. It's all like handmade in India, in Calcutta. So it's something that's like mostly couture and uh, they are celebrating the craftsmanship of this. Our style is, uh, you know, uh, the textiles is Indian and the silhouettes and the fits are all global. So the collection is called the Indian Me Fusion, wherein it's an, it's an innovative reinterpretation of the Indian crafts and arts through modern techniques of prints and embroidery. New Delhi-based Amit Agarwal has established a reputation for his innovation and inventiveness. My specific style is molded. It's couture but completely contemporary. It uh, boasts a lot about great fit, uh, about uh, modern textiles and of course a lot of Indian craftsmanship which takes I think months and months to make but I think that is what couture is for. Actors Mayank Anand and Shraddha Nigam have established themselves as designers who specialize in hand loom fabrics. We do clothing that is very wearable, 
It should transition seamlessly from the ramp into a closet and onto a body. It really flatters all body, body types. types. It's easy, yeah. it's relaxed. Um, it's flowy. We're also very inspired to uh, showcase beautiful Indian textile in a non-Indian context. The event had attracted fashionistas from across the country who were determined not to miss a minute of the show. Amit Agarwal presented elegance with an edge, while Gauri and Nenika favoured feminine frills. Nita Lula's creations were proudly ethnic, with classic and contemporary interpretations. Nupur Kanoi made stunning use of black, gold and red palette for her striking resort wear. Mayank Anand and Shraddha Nigam placed fabrics centre stage, while Raja Tangri combined geometry, asymmetry and layering. Floral elements featured in the designs of both Adarsh Makaria and Babita Malkani, ready for the arrival of spring. Contemporary Eastern opulence was showcased by Nitin Kartikeya, while the IM design label flowed gracefully through space and time. Vogue Tishart by Shivani and Bhavna Rao celebrated the goddess with gowns destined for the red carpet. In addition to curating the show, Isha Amin presented some of her own designs with the emphasis on elegance. Dev Arnil is the label of a designer duo based in Kolkata and traditional handicrafts are a hallmark of their work. Asa Fashions had something for everyone with styles presenting chic looks and perfect legs. Ladies and gentlemen, curator of the Hot Fashion Exhibition, put your hands together for Isha Amin. It was actually a mind-blowing experience. We'd love to do it again. I thought it was fantastic. It was fabulous. It's very inspiring and it's amazing to see. I enjoyed every single bit of it and I would love to see more of it in Durban. While the focus was on style, the commercial aspects cannot be ignored, as the Consul General explained. India is among the leading countries in the world. Our textile export today stands at somewhere around 50 billion US dollars a year and it's growing every year. And uh, the industry, we, are, we estimate that by 2020 it should be somewhere near 230 billion dollars. So it's an Indian growth story and we would like Africa to be part of it, to benefit from it. It would be fun to fly to India for a shopping expedition, but it takes time and money. This extravaganza has offered us a snapshot to where Eastern fashion is headed right now. So I hope you've got your spring and summer wardrobes ready to go.